What's up, brothers and sisters? It is your boy Shadrach Benibu here back with another YouTube reaction video. So in today's reaction video, I am going to be watching another Darman video, which is about a rich man not standing Christmas. And what will happen at the end of this video is shocking. So without further ado, you guys, let us get started. Some thousand two hundred. Wow, that's a lot of money right there. Two thousand two hundred. I wonder who that could be at the door. Jameson! 2,000. Jameson! May I help you? Hi, my name is Grace with Operation Smile. We're out here looking for donations to help kids. No thanks! <laughs> Well, that was very mean of him to uh, do right there. I mean, I get that he does not want to donate his millions to help those kids that are in need of some things right now, but uh, he doesn't really have to be mean and slam the door on that lady's face right there. That guy kind of reminds me of either the Grinch or uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Those are the types of characters that do not like celebrating Christmas at all. Jameson, I was calling for you. I'm so sorry, sir. I was sorting your mail in the other room. I didn't hear. I don't want your excuses. It's your job to come when you're called and to answer the door when someone comes to it. Yes, sir. Understood. <laughs> By the way, this came in a mail for you today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wonder who that's from. Oh, it's from his huh? nephew, Danny. Is everything okay, sir? My nephew has invited me for Christmas dinner. That's probably a good idea for me to go. I'd rather not. You'd have to pay me to waste my time there. Dude, that was your freaking nephew that invited you over for Christmas dinner. It's probably a good idea for you to go. Unless you have something else planned for this holiday season, then that's all right. But uh, if you don't, it's probably a good idea for you to spend Christmas with uh, your nephew and everybody else in your family that is going to be there. Um, sir, can I ask you a question? Make it quick. Um, I was, I, I was a one, um... Stop stuttering, Jameson. Spit it out. You want to spend Christmas with I was with wondering Harold? if there was any way I could leave early on Christmas tomorrow. Or not. I wanted to make my family dinner. And, um... Also... Also? If there was any way I could get a small advance so I can buy gifts for the kids. Uh, he wouldn't do You're that. You're joking, right? Um... He would not so, do um, that. You see, I'm I... I'm telling you. Listen here, Jameson. In all the years that my late business partner, Peter, and I worked together, there wasn't one day that either one of us left the office early. That's the what life of a workaholic right there. I would let you leave early tomorrow. You're right, sir. Never. I apologize for even asking. <laughs> and no to the advance. Well, dude, just because you have like millions of dollars at your house, that doesn't give you the right to treat people like crap. I mean, it's Christmas. It's all about giving and spending time with the people that you love the most, friends, family, etc. I mean, come on, nobody works on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Uh, well, except for like some people that have to be like workaholics or have to actually work on a Christmas Eve and or day. <sighs> well, what are you waiting for? Don't just stand there, Jameson. Make yourself useful. Pour me a glass of scotch. Well, maybe that's why you've been acting all meany yes, and sir. grinchy. Oh, Peter. These people leave early. Oh, that's ha! another reason why he's all mean and grinchy. Because his business partner died. Ooh, I think I know what's gonna happen here. It's gonna be one of those uh, Christmas past, present, and future type of scenes right here. I bet you in this scene, this Harold guy is gonna be taken to the past.
Ooh, okay. Why don't you see who's at the door, man? That portrait artist never got my nose right. <laughs> no! Oh my god! It's his business partner! Peter? Hello, Harold. Is he, is he going to be one of those guys where he takes him to the past? I don't present, understand. Edward, what are you doing here? You've been dead for two years now. Well, Indeed I have. But I felt as though I owed you a visit. I must be dreaming. I'm oh, going to slow down me. on the scotch. Darn right you do. Ah! I thought we could go on a little trip tonight. To where? A trip. Pass? But it's freezing cold out there. Where did you want us to go? I'm going to take you to see your Christmas past, present, and future. Oh yes, I knew it. I knew all along before watching this video that this was going to be more about a uh, Christmas Carol type of vibe where uh, Ebenezer Scrooge doesn't really care about Christmas and uh, he's taken to his past, present, and future. So this Darman video that I'm watching has some sort of a Grinch and some type of Christmas Carol vibe in it where uh, this Harold guy that I just saw, he's going to be taken to what he has been doing in the past, what he has been doing right now, and what his life is going to be like a few years from now. So let us now continue watching this video and see what happens when he goes to the past with his business partner, Peter. Ah, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, Peter, while you're here, there's this business I'm buying and I want to take them for every last nickel. <laughs> but I want your advice. Harold, Harold, Harold. Always thinking of business. Ah. <laughs> oh, Harold, you haven't changed a bit. No siree, he hasn't. I'll make you a deal. I will give you my opinion on this acquisition on one condition that you come with me tonight. This way. Where are we going? I think that's Welcome the past. Welcome to Christmas past. Yep, that's How is this past. possible? I haven't been back here since, since I was a boy. And quite frankly, I've been trying to burn the memory of it from my brain. They can't see us? Darn right no, they can't. No, they cannot see us, nor hear us, nor feel us. Why have you brought me here? Is everything okay, Harold? No! Why are all of you so happy? Look at this place, look at this food! You better watch your tone, Harold. Do you know how many oh, people will be grateful wow. to have a house to have food on the table? But it's Christmas and we don't even have presents. Dude, yeah, your parents but are not we rich. have each other. Exactly. Come on, man. That's just something poor people say to make themselves feel better. That's enough. I hate living this way. One day I'm gonna be rich. Just you wait and see. I don't doubt that. But you have to remember, money can buy nice things, but it can't buy you happiness. Happiness? It can't buy you family. How can anyone either? be happy when you have to live this way? Ugh. Oh, geez, what a dick right there. No offense, but uh, this is not really the type of situation that a person or any type of person should be uh, living as of uh, right now. I mean, from watching Harold go into his past, he came from a really poor family, and uh, he should be grateful that he's living under a really good house that's like not so good to him but uh the part where he says that one day he's going to be rich it actually came true 
But uh, what they all say is be careful what you wish for because whatever you wish for, it can actually happen. I, I didn't realize she cried. Because you didn't see. All, all she wanted, wanted was, was for you to, have, to have, have a nice Christmas, Christmas together. together. To be fair, Christmas isn't really Christmas without presents. That's not true. Come along, Harold. Let us go to our next destination. Is your next destination going to be the present? Yep, that's right. It is the present. I think this is his nephew's house. Or I think I'm wrong. Is it his nephew's house? Oh my gosh! Emma! I'm so sorry. I, I know I'm late. Late is an understatement. Okay. Okay, fine. You're right. But I have some stuff at work. You know I'm trying to get this promotion. Oh, but on no, Christmas? That's still Harold. Seriously? It couldn't wait? As a young no, Promotions don't wait for anybody. If I don't seize this opportunity, somebody else will. I brought you a gift. <laughs> oh, gosh. You're cleaning you up dinner already. I waited four hours. But as always, you put your work before me. Dude, what the hell? Come Emma, on, man. How can you not see that I'm doing this for us? No, you're no, doing this for you. You're doing this for you. Because see? if you had stopped for just one second to think about what I wanted, you would have realized that I wanted to spend Christmas with the man that I love, not an empty chair sitting across the table from me. Well, he didn't I would care rather about have you. you here than some promotion any day. Well, I'm here now. Just stop. I don't want to see this. Take me back. Yeah. Please. You Go need to, to see this, from. Harold. <sighs> I can't do this anymore. Don't say that. You know, I've realized that I'm never going to be your priority. Money will be. Money isn't everything, Harold. Darn right it isn't. I mean... I am done with empty chairs. I am done with going to bed without you, waking up without you. I'm done with celebrating holidays alone. I'm just done, Harry. What are you saying, Emma? You don't love me anymore? I love you more than anything. But I don't think you can say the same about me, can you? Yeah, leave his ass. Of course ass. I can. Okay, then do you love me more than you love money? No, he still loves his money. Merry Christmas, Harry. Um, please. At least take your gift. You don't get it. I don't care about the gifts. I never have. I just... Never mind. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. All right, so this was still his past from uh, what I saw right there. First, it was him as a kid eating dinner with his parents and his brother. And then it was him coming home from a business type of thing. And uh, his uh, wife or his girlfriend, I guess, is like... Uh, waiting there for like many hours waiting for his ass to come home and spend christmas with her and here's another thing that everybody says money cannot buy anything it can't buy you happiness it can't buy you family it can't really buy anything unless uh you go to a store and buy some stuff that's not what christmas is all about you know it's all about just giving and caring and uh, spending time with the people that you love and care about the most. That's what Christmas is all about. Can we please go? Mm. Had enough yet, Harold? Hmm? Had enough yet, Mr. Business Guy? Will you stop it? What? Stop it. Welcome to Christmas present. Oh, there's a present now. Hey, kids, be careful. You don't want to break anything. Sorry, oh, Dad. Emma's As husband. if there were anything in here worth anything. Oh, sweetheart, uh, did your uncle ever get back to you? Oh, no, that's his nephew. What do you think? I don't understand why you even bother inviting him every year. I promised my dad before he passed that I'd look after him, so... Look, he doesn't have anyone else. 
I know, but is that anyone else's fault but his own? Look, he's he's a miserable old man who only shows his face when he has oh, money to gain. Oh, that's his son. <laughs> I thought that was his yeah, nephew. But he's still family. He's not coming again. Are we ever going to meet Harold? I don't know, kids. I really don't. Honestly, kids, it might be better this way. <laughs> Do you hear how she talks about me? Well, can that's you really blame how you're acting? Whose side are you on? I mean, look at this place. It, it looks like the most miserable Christmas ever. That's what there you aren't think. There, there aren't any presents. Any more miserable than the Christmas we just saw before we came here. Hmm. I'll tell you this, though. He's really missing out. These cookies are delicious. <laughs> hey, those are for Santa. Yeah, for when he brings us our gifts. He's not going to do that. Look, I'm sorry, kids. I don't think Santa's going to make it this year. There, I told you so. Are you upset that you're not going to get any presents? No, I don't think so. Uh, no. Yep. We're not. There we go. We have each other. That's uh -huh. all we need. Hmm. Amen to that. Well, we have just one more stop, and then I will get you home as promised. However, this next one will not be easy. Yeah, this next one will not be easy, for sure. So I am guessing that he is going to be going to his future, and the future that he's going to be going into is not going to be as good as he thought it would be. So, let us now see what happens next in Harold's future, shall we? Let's just get it over with. Okay, Mr. Spoiled Rich Guy. Ooh. What are we? What's this? Oh, jeez. Oh. He's dead. Oh. oh, no. That's his funeral. Oh, God. It, it can't be my funeral. Indeed, it is. Ouch. <laughs> but, well, where are all the flowers? Don't no dead flowers people get flowers? They don't. Uh, and because where are all the mourners? Fucked up Harold, rich you are. You always put money before people. Who did you think was going to show up? Nobody does. And to be honest, nobody even realized that you had died. See? How did I go? It was a uh, downward spiral after Jameson quit. Jameson's gonna quit? Mm. Well, well, he's worked you... for me for years. Indeed. If you something bad to him, then Perhaps you, will. you should have treated him better. Yep. But one of your neighbors um, called the police when they noticed a um, foul smell coming from your place. A foul smell? Well, then. I was dead for days before anyone even. Notice. Why didn't anyone check on me? Because you didn't care about them. Oh, it's my nephew. He, he, he is here. Oh, that's his nephew. I thought that was his son when he went to the present. It's just so sad. Well, at least you There's have here but a us. few people that came I can't by. Can't say I'm surprised. Well, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hates me. Yeah, because of how Peter, fucked up you are. I can't believe this is the way it all ends for me. That's what happens Herald, when you put money before everything else, man. This doesn't have to be your future. Uh huh. But it will be if you don't change. <laughs> so, do you still want my uh, opinion on that company you're considering to buy? What? Oh. Oh, no. I don't care about that anymore. <laughs> no. What's more money going to do for me? I, it can't buy happiness. Yep, that's right. That's what I but said. My work here is done. <laughs> ah! oh! Well, that really was a dream. Uh, uh. Ah, good morning, sir. I've made your morning coffee. Oh, thank you, Jameson. Well, you're welcome to have your uh, servant here to support you every day, 24-7. Uh, right. Uh, uh, 
How did you sleep, sir? Oh, uh, not well. <laughs> okay, so what's gonna happen next, I wonder? <laughs> well, he got so drunk last night, he completely forgot about the stay. Don't worry, sir. I already let your nephew know that you weren't coming. And I let the gentleman whose business you're buying know that you wouldn't pay one nickel over 50000 <laughs> And since he's losing it to the bank, he had no choice but to say yes. So, congratulations, sir. He's losing his business to the bank? Oh yes. Oh, my God. Poor chap's been struggling for years. Even though it's Christmas, I told him he had to come in today to sign. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, I'll stay late to make sure. I'm even sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have asked you to. Oh, 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 Jameson, please. I should be apologizing to you. Oh, you so now so you're hard. sorry. Okay. I should have heard you out. I tell you what. Why don't you take off from right now until New Year's? Now you're talking. And I'll still early. pay you. <laughs> really? That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> But I won't give you an advance because you won't be paying it back. <laughs> Consider it a bonus. <laughs> oh, Jameson, you so deserve it. <sighs> now, get on home to those kids of yours, huh? Yep, that is definitely Christmas right there. So now that Harold woke up from this terrible dream he's been having, he realized, oh man, is this really going to be my future? Uh, no, in his head. But his future will depend on what he makes of it. So um, now that this is all a dream, he has like today to make up for all of the bad things that he has done in the past. And most importantly, he is going to learn from his past mistakes and become a better person than he was before. So it looks like he gave his uh, servants the day off to spend Christmas with his family, or not the day off, but uh, he gave him until New Year's Day to uh, spend more time with his family. So let's see if Harold is going to be spending Christmas with his family as well. Thank you so much, sir. You have no idea how much this means to me. <laughs> oh, uh, Jameson, just one more thing. Get in touch with that man who's losing his business and tell him we'll give him the full amount. And there he can go. keep the business. Excellent, yes, Harold. Excellent work. <laughs> All right. Oh, looking good, kids. I got it. I got it. I wonder it. who that could be. Oh, well, well, well. Oh, oh, oh. look who made it to Christmas dinner. Where's oh my the gosh, juice? Uncle Harry. Oh, I didn't think you were going to make it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. And hey, look, I've come bearing gifts. Well, the children didn't expect to have gifts. This but, is uh, too much. Oh, my gosh. I've missed a lot of Christmases. Wow. Everyone, Uncle Harry's here. Oh, <laughs> Ah, oh, kids. Here you go, kids. Put these under the tree. These are all for us? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good having you with us this year. The kids have really been looking forward to meeting you, and this is all so generous, so thank you. Uh -huh. Well, thank you for inviting me. And for not giving up on me. Thank you for not giving up on your family as well. Hello. I'm with Operation Smile, and we're looking for donations for kids that need life-saving operations. Oh, well, yeah. Emma. Much money. Now's your chance. Wait, right? It's Harold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? Oh, oh, I'm good. You look so beautiful. Oh, thanks. You look... Uh, Jolly. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. Just when I thought this year's Christmas couldn't get any better, it just did. I'd love to help the kids. There you go, Harold. 
There you go. One hundred thousand dollars. If I'm right. There. Are you sure? Oh, Emma. What am I going to do with all that money? Donate it. I mean, it's not like I can take it with me when I die. I may as well help people while I'm still here. Amen, Nacho. Amen. Oh, Emma, we were about to have dinner. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks again, and Merry Christmas. Harold, it was good to see you. Oh. Oh, um, I meant we'd love to have you join us. If you want to, that is. I'd love to. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't bring any presents, especially after all you just did for me. Uh, he'll be okay. It's okay. See? We have each other, and that's all that matters. Amen. Alrighty. Wow, that was one heck of a video to watch during this holiday season. Anyway, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video that I put out for all of you, and uh, I just want to conclude this video by saying hope you all have a merry christmas and a happy new year and uh, be safe and stay tuned for more content from shadrach benny boo